Welcome back to the Ryan Knows Tech channel. I'm Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us. Here today taking a few requests that I got after my video I posted last week about the changes in Mac OS X Mountain Lion. One of those changes that I actually neglected to mention was the AirPlay mirroring feature that is now available within Mountain Lion. And if you've got an Apple TV, that's version 2 or the current one, uh, meaning you need an A4 or A5 processor in the black Apple TV, not the the square foot one, the, the smaller <laughs> iPhone sized one. Um, we have this option up here in the top menu bar on the Mac. It's the AirPlay icon that we're familiar with on our iOS devices. And with this operating system, it does work better, I'll say, if you have an iPad, if you have the Apple TV 3, the latest one. Um, that has a better processor, it supports 1080p, so it's going to look quite a bit better for you. But I've actually got two camera angles going on right now, and we're going to try to use the, uh, the audio from the Snowball microphone instead of the flip. And I do apologize for the very low light. It's about 5.15 p.m. right now, and it's a cloudy day here in Cleveland. So uh, going up there, we see a couple options. We can actually go into Display Preferences and find AirPlay Mirroring, and we'll turn it on like that and in a few seconds there it is on my 52 inch Sony Bravia over there we see my desktop and I'll be a critic and say that the quality is decent however I certainly would not want to read a book on this but it would it would definitely suffice for watching a movie unless you're looking for crystal clear blu-ray quality 1080 plus P uh, video but we have a couple options right now as you can see the Mac looks just as it would and if the flip is catching it up there is a tiny bit of a delay in the video projection, but of course it is going through a Wi-Fi network and it's got to move uh, whatever resolution it's scaled to. We're actually in my MacBook Pro's resolution right now, which is 1680 by 1050. I got the high-res display on my 11, my 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, so we have it suited right now. The resolution is best built, is the best option for the built-in display. We can actually switch it best for AirPlay, and since I have a uh, Apple TV 2, not the latest one, it is going to set that to 720p for me. So now it, it looks quite a bit better and it, it, it totally fits the whole screen on the TV. And I do apologize, I'm, I'm seeing that's a little bit washed out, uh, but I don't have a better camera to use this to use for this. Uh, we still have the delay, but now it is optimized for the TV. So if I wanted to grab a Magic Mouse and sit down and watch YouTube videos like this, uh, that would work pretty well. But I, I can also scale it myself using whatever resolution I want to. I can't go to 1080p because I don't have an Apple TV 3 and my MacBook Pro screen doesn't support that. Uh, but it, it does work very well. It's responsive. It's quick. It's uh, The only thing is if you're doing gameplay or something and those few frames that you're losing there per second, um, losing those is going to be an issue, then that may be an issue for you. But we'll go ahead and see what Safari looks like. Obviously, it's, it's just going to look like Safari on a TV. And this would be pretty simple to go, and I had a comment, to watch vlogs on it, let's say. So here's a video from CTFXC. They put up today, Charles, Trippy, and Allie. And we'll full screen that and see what that looks like. Of course, we get a pre-roll ad. But the audio is coming out of the TV, and from the TV it goes to my surround sound uh, 5.1 in here. You can see that delay. And the volume from the Mac actually works, which is nice. There's free advertising for the Olympics. So there we go. Definitely a very, very, very usable system and interface um, if you want to display the content on your Mac. Or, well, really, the iPhone and iPad work the same way. If I go ahead and log into my iPhone real quick, We'll double tap that home button and we should be able to hijack the mirroring away from the Mac and onto the iPhone. And there it is. That's what the iPhone looks like. Most of you are probably familiar with this. I, I know you just see uh, a picture of an iPhone on this display. But if I go to my camera app, this is cool. You have to wait for it. Here's what you guys look like. Do you see that on the TV? It's a flip on a tripod at the end of my couch. So then if we wanted to hijack that back, of course, we just go up in the menu bar, select the Apple TV, and in about two seconds, there we are back to the desktop. So just a quick look at that functionality, and it does work. I wish I had an Apple TV 3 uh, with me so I could show you what it would look like in, in best quality and speed and performance and everything. But uh, that is the Apple AirPlay mirroring feature found in OS X Mountain Lion. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And be sure to check out Tech Inform. I'll go ahead and throw that up in 
two huge resolutions for you here. We welcomed a new administrator, Trevor, welcome aboard. We've been doing lots of stuff, lots of comments. We finally have a Write for Tech Inform link on the homepage now. I know that took uh, definitely long enough for us to figure that out. So if you would like to write with us, then please go ahead over to Tech Inform and follow that link. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in a video later next week. Bye-bye.